Hey folks, it's Julian. BD Cosmos, we're back. We're doing a second video already. Uh, we're talking about the Marvel previews number five. And uh, this big month, it's the 60th anniversary of Spider-Man. So of course, let's go to volume number six, five, six, I forget. Uh, we're going back to the ASM number one. So we were at ASM 93, could not even get to 100, and we're rebooting to number one. Huh, <sighs> it's, uh, it's a frustrating thing. So, let's go over this. So, hi, I'm Julian. Uh, I'm a retailer. Uh, I, uh, I been reading comic books for 30-odd years. Um, and uh, this is a retailer perspective on a Marvel previews on what's, what I feel are great books to promote, what are great books that will sell naturally, uh, what are books that people may want to read or not read, uh, what books might be worth speculating on. And so... Um, we do a little bit of speculation, but mostly we're trying just to make some sales and get people to read comic books. So if uh, you're interested in what a retailer's perspective on certain comic books coming, well, watch this rest of this video. So we'll go over this particular month. So these are books are solicited in February, coming out theoretically in April of 2022. And I say theoretically because the paper shortage, people there are a lot of books that keep getting delayed. So the cover is The Amazing Spider-Man. It's one of my least favorite writers, Zeb Wells, who is now taking over uh, the comic book. What will sell this book is John Romita Jr. coming back. And John Romita has not done uh, interiors on an ongoing series for Amazing Spider-Man about two decades now. So it's great, and this will this will sell the book. And uh, I'm, uh, I know people have really enjoyed Hellions from Zeb Wells, and my, um, I have not liked the Beyond stories from Zeb uh, all that much, to be honest. But I will read it. I will collect it. I have been reading, collecting Amazing Spider-Man since I am f six years old. So uh, I'm not going to stop now. Uh, I may just do like Dan Slott and just ignore it for a long time. So they're doing he's back because it's John Romina Jr.'s back. It's not Spider-Man. Obvious, other than the fact that, yes, it's... Again, no longer Ben Riley. I, I don't know what to do with this. This I'm kind of cool about. X-Men Red. This is the continuation of S.W.O.R.D. So it's Al Ewing, Stefano Caselli. We're continuing. It's just no longer to focus on the S.W.O.R.D. station. Uh, it, the focus is now on uh, the uh, Martians, which are the X-Men. So it's the uh, the, the Council, the, the, the Red Council. Uh, it's Storm, the Omega Mutant. Uh, I'm really... Curious to see where they'll go because I really enjoyed the the series of Sword. Well, not many of us, but I really enjoyed it. I like Ali Wing's space stuff, so yes, I did enjoy his Gardens of the Galaxy. Okay, let's get into it. We've got a fractastic amount of facsimile editions, and you need every single one of these. I need every single one of these. You need every single one of these. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number one, volume one, facsimile edition. Ordering 100. Facsimile edition of annual. So this is the first Sinister Six, ordering a hundred. Uh, facsimile edition number one uh, of Spectacular Spider-Man number one. Uh, this is the uh, the Tarantula. Um, I forget what also this was. Uh, is there's another reason why this was key? Um, there was something else. Uh, I forget. Anyways. Uh, this particular one, so while you need 100 and 100, uh, probably like just like 50, I mean, I'm still going to sell all of them, so anyways. Uh, here's a problem with Amazing Spider-Man's, uh, number ones, um, there's 17 covers or something ridiculous? There's a lot of covers here, folks. And I know there's going to be a lot of people who pick up a lot of them, so I'll have to order a bunch of them. I, I'll probably, like, order 100 copies of Amazing Spider-Man number one, to be honest. Uh, I, I probably ordered 100 copies of 50, of 75 with a reboot, the, the previous Beyond reboot. Um, the art looks cool. This particular text of, um, this isn't Tombstone, it's, uh, I forget the name of the villain, but the text itself is really cool. I highly recommend uh, reading it. Um, Romita art is Romita art. You can't go wrong with it. So I, I'm sure it'll do well. Um I, I, it's just super frustrating to get a new number one, new volume. 
So yeah, we've got some covers in Yakli, Peach Momoko, uh, Romina Jones. I'll probably get keep one of those myself. Issue two. Oh, we're doing. Oh yeah, this is super frustrating. Uh, we're breaking them up again. Uh, Spencer brought them back, and oh, let's break them up. How to get me mad? Ugh, this better not be true. Okay, this is cool. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, it's it's really frustrating because this really works better when it's next to each other. So a brave new era of Captain America starts here. It is two consecutive. I don't know if they're ongoings or miniseries all together, but it's a one that is a a a Steve Rogers series and one that is a. Uh, uh, Falcon is, uh, oh god, this frustrates me. Um, Falcon is, oh man, um, uh, Sam Wilson, jeez, brain fart complete. Plus this, uh, um, uh, Max Brooks, uh, cover, like this round, this is like an issue zero, folks. Okay, so it's Captain America Zero. It's really exciting. It's actually super intelligent as a series. It's giving us both Captain Americas at the same time as Captain Americas, but two different emphasis. It's great. I, I'm I'm all for this. For this one shot and then the splitting into two separate books. So, um, so the, 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 uh, the underground, undercover stuff is going to be Steve and then the point man the heroic stuff is gonna be sam i think it's genius uh i forget who's writing this um it's gotta be tell me okay it's uh oof, okay a bunch of writers colin kelly jackson lansing tochi onyabuchi there's a lot of writers i don't know who's writing which and who's writing what it doesn't matter i think the concept is fantastic i am uh, down super down bro reading this stories and this wraparound Mark Brooks cover. So these Mark Brooks covers are fantastic. I love them so much. Um, it could be the House of X stuff, his Moral X Men stuff, and uh, this one in particular, Captain America Zero. I'm going to be. I am not even worried about selling these in the long term. Uh, I, I don't think the. Um, oh, okay. The Jackson K. Lansing, Kelly Cannon, World Kang the Conqueror, which I enjoyed. It was weird, but I enjoyed. Um, I did not read Black Panther Legends. I didn't care for it personally, so I, I don't have an opinion. It's writer here. Um, Matteo de Lulis, uh, My Valkyries, My Whole Woman, Kick Off and Girl, Captain America Saga. You want to miss? It? It's true. Um, I uh, I know Captain America is not the most popular character. Uh, I mostly enjoy him. Has um. It, with the Avengers, I'm an Avengers fan, not so much a Captain America solo character, unless it's, it's Brubaker. Brubaker, just write all the Captain America you want, folks. Uh, but this seems like a really cool splitting off, and uh, I'm I'm I, I'm sure Max Brooks covers will uh, Mark Brooks cover will sell long term, uh, and I I don't I don't think it's a spec book, but I think it's a great reading point. Uh, also, <laughs> look at Donny Cates doing uh, <laughs> Hulk versus Thor. Two books that he's writing. Let's do a versus. Uh, I think it's cool. Uh, I don't. Again, this is not something. It's an alpha book, so this is going into a miniseries, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again, not a spec book, but if you're reading Hulk and Thor, if you're reading Donny Cates, why wouldn't you get this, right? Um, there's a segment variant, a wraparound connecting variant. Jeff Shaw. Uh, these are cool little concept versus covers. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Hulk versus Thor. We'll read. This has got to be Lil Nail U. So the Lil U cover. Oh, it's Gary Frank? Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Anderson. Interior art. See, this, this just looks cool. Just looks cool. Uh, Hulk 6, um, yeah, spec it, uh, you guys saw what Hulk 3 did, it, uh, it smashed in value, uh, Hulk 6, um, I don't think it matters how many people order, it won't be enough, how about that, so, 
Hulk 3 was fantastic. I'm super happy I ordered more than I needed. Uh, we made some money for the store, which is great. I'm going to do... I, I, I think Hulk... It's entirely possible that we're just being like, oh, you should have picked up Hulk 5 instead. It's possible. Um, like, people are ordering a Hulk 4 right now. <laughs> Not taking chances. Uh, but yeah, it could be Hulk 6. Who knows? Uh, also, wow, I, I am such a Marvel Shields. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, Thor 24, I'm really excited to have Straczynski write. <laughs> Straczynski writes some Thor. I love Straczynski Thor. It's great. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's an oversized book because it's the 750th issue of uh, uh, Thor. Um, this is the issue where I'm going to get back into reading Thor. I have not read 1 through 23. Um, uh, but uh, just like I did with Avengers, with Avengers 50, 750, I got back in. So I'm going to do the same thing for Thor. Starting at 24, I'll go back to reading the ongoing series. Um Deadpool Bad Blood by Rob Liefeld. I have the hardcover original edition. Again, uh, you guys may know, I'm a Deadpool lifelong fan. I own a lot of Deadpool. Uh, almost every trade, omnibus, uh, single issue. I like, I collect, my main series are Spider-Man and Deadpool with some whatever Gwen's in. So it could be a Spider-Gwen or a Gwenpool series. So those are like the things I collect the most. Everything else, I'm like, I read it, and then I, I saw them. I have no real attachment to this stuff. But Deadpool, this is bad blood. It's just being split into single issues. Um, it's a great hardcover book. Um, and I say this, even though it's from Rob Liefeld. Um, I, uh, yeah, sure, definitely, guys. Uh, if you haven't read it, you should. <laughs> All right, here's my fanboyism more. Shazarski, uh, it's issue one. It's not issue 37 of Daredevil. We're back to number one. Uh, they've already announced what follows this for the May issue instead. <laughs> uh, it, it, it like they announced it like uh, a few days before the the, uh, the previews came out, but whatever. Uh, Daredevil number one, uh, three ninety nine. Wow. Yeah, okay, so beginning of Hell's Kitchen, the most important Daredevil issue of the year, the explosive beginning. So yeah, um, we'll not take a chance after Devil's Reign doing super well, uh, like way better. Uh, I'm going to tell people, did you enjoy Devil's Reign? Bang, you need to be reading Daredevil. But I've been telling that to everyone, you need to be reading Daredevil. So Daredevil number one. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I just like Hulk that I'm sure that over time we'll, we'll be able to sell all the, all the issues of number one. She... All the issues number one. Uh, we'll just order a hundred copies of Daredevil, and it, it it won't explode in value, but it's just like we'll go for them no matter what over time. Uh, indifferent to this, in Electra one hundred, they counted a random assortment of issues of Electra to make it so it's, everything else was ninety nine. Like the count was one hundred three, because it was an Electra Wolverine series, and they're not counting Electra what Black White and Blood, so I don't know. Um. I am indifferent to this particular book. Uh, we'll ask around. Maybe a lot of people will accept to it. Honestly, the people read Black, Black, White, and Blood in their Electro will probably accept to this. So we'll sell a couple. I'm not afraid. Uh, X Men Red. So more of the uh, Destiny of X stuff. Um, ask, I'm, I'm, we'll just port over all the sword people to this. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, also, also, because I'm a fan of Vulcan. I think Vulcan is a fantastic character. Uh, so one and two in the same month. So if I'm not mistaken, this becomes comes out first week of April, and this comes out last week of April. So we'll probably have the second, third issue in the last week of May. Uh, Legion of X. Uh, this is the replacement to Way of X, uh, and the onslaught one shot. So it's still size superior. A lot of people will be uh, really enjoy Way of X, and I, I'm it's just the continuation of that story point. So why not? Uh, new ongoing series, not a not a mini series. Uh, this one is kind of cool. Uh, is the follow up to Excalibur? It's now Knights of X. Uh, why? It's because these mutants are stuck in Otherworld, and so now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Merlin controls Otherworld, and it's like uh, all mutants are being hunted down. So the mutants that are stuck there, uh, uh, like uh, Betsy Braddock 
and uh, Rachel Summers, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe Gambit? I'm not 100% sure who are the people who are stuck there. And they're like, they're trying to defend themselves as well as the few mutants that are still left there in the other world. So these people are completely cut off from Krakoa. So that's the, and it's a, the, the magic element. So if you did enjoy Dark Knights of Steel, Dark Ages, uh, and you uh, enjoy the, I don't know, Critical Role or D&D, uh, this is the X-Men series for you. And honestly, I'm pretty sure as it a reboot is going to sell much better even though it's like it's literally the straight continuation of Excalibur. It's still Teeny Howard is writing it. Um, I, I think this will do super well. Uh, quest begins here where mutants are hated and feared once again. Um, Thunderbird one shot, giant size. We've had a couple of giant size from Jonathan Hickman. Uh, this one is the, the important part is that Nyla Rose is running it. Uh, AEW wrestler Nyla Rose with Steve Orlando uh, because she's a transgender wrestler and uh, because it seems that Thunderbird is trans. I'm, I'm not aware of this, but it's not like a really followed character, to be honest. Uh, John Proudstar. Nah. Anyways, um, there are, all the X people will definitely be reading this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have X-Men 97 coming to Disney+. Plus. So let's... And we already have X-Men Legends, but let's do X-Men 92. I, I don't get it. We already have X-Men Legends for this particular reason, but whatever. X-Men 92, spin-off of uh, Jim Lee's X-Men. It's a miniseries, 9 of 5. Uh, Jim Rugg, Hugger and Design. Um, very, very few people have subbed to number one. Now, the Egg Piscor cover is doing super well on our eBay store as a pre-order. So, uh, and I think actually FOC is just passed. It's uh, in a couple of hours, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, Grand Design looks. I don't. I. I. No one is reading it. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood. I honestly had no idea. Uh, like I said, uh, after Electra, I don't know who's going to be Black, White, and Blood. And Moon Knight makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and the, the, what's really cool about this is that uh, Hickman and uh, Bachalo are doing one of the stories. Uh, they were rumored to work on an ongoing series. It still may be true. Uh, oh, there's a Stan Sakai cover. Oh, I know. Sakai fans will love this. The Cal cover. Like, honestly, all the covers are great uh, for uh, the, this Black, One and Blood. All three of these covers are pretty cool. And uh, yeah. Uh, let's pitch it to all the Moon Knight people. We're a lot of Moon Knight readers, so let's see if uh, we enjoy uh, this black and white and blood. Uh, Captain Marvel 30... Oh, no. Annual. Instead of a numbered, it's the annual. Uh, um, I This one's pulling to me because I love the uh, uh, Star Jammers. Uh, it, I've mentioned this many times, like, my favorite X-Men are the Space X-Men, so, uh, Shi'ar Empire and whatnot, so I may order this just for myself to read it. Uh, it's a different writer. It's Torn Gronbeck. It is not Kelly Thompson, so that's kind of scares me. Uh, Gwenverse, doing super well on sales, uh, honestly. Uh... Thor Gwen and Spider Gwen team up and then stuck against Captain Gwen and now Captain Gwen of 1954. Uh, yeah. Um, all these new Gwen versions are doing super well. Um, oh, it's Tim Seeley. I didn't even realize that. Or maybe I did. I forgot. But yeah. Uh, um, probably not ordering enough Spider Gwen's Gwen verse, to be honest. Uh, last month, what if Miles Morales was Captain America? This time he's... Uh, Wolverine with four blades in each hand makes him extra dangerous. So the concept, I believe, is the one in ten, probably. Or maybe that is the main cover. No, this is the main cover. Yeah, this is the main cover. It's kind of cool of a concept. Uh, Lethal Protector 2. Sure. Hydro Man versus Venom. Why not? Regular Carnage Ongoing, number two. Rambi. Punisher, number two. By Aaron. So if I'm skipping through this, just because what I'm, I'm like not expecting to order more of these. There's nothing that jumps up at me that says like we need to order more of these. Uh, okay, well, then 
like nothing from this tells me I need to order more carnage. Nothing from this tells me I need to specifically lethal protector. There's like um, it, it's going to be consistent for the rest of the series. In Punisher, maybe two in particular uh, is worth more, but I to me it's usually number threes. Uh, Strange. Fighting against Doom. Why not? Come on, clear. A mysterious Harvest Man is both face out against Undead Foe. Oh, that's not Doom. It's, it looks like Doom. <laughs> it certainly looks like Doom. Uh, yeah, this looks great. Jen McKay, fantastic writer, also love him. Uh, Captain Carter number two. Uh, number one, uh, I've doubled my order. Uh, I've pre sold my incentives and I've just doubled my order. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, I don't expect to double my order of number two. Uh, I, a lot of people are definitely uh, people out there are speculating on this particular book. Um, so, but um, I honestly think it'll be a fun read. And so, uh, I'm speaking to the readers out there. Uh, if you want to speculate, speculate on number one. But uh, if you want to read it, just then sub to it. Honestly, it looks great. Uh, honestly, uh, I can't wait to read it. Uh, Doctor Strange, Nexus of Nightmares, Ralph Macchio. What is this? It's a one-shot. Nightmare has invaded Doctor Strange's dreams, turned into horrible nightmares. So, Nightmare vs. Strange, one-shot. I don't really know the reason for this. This is not a speculative book, and this is definitely not, uh... Uh, they're all, I don't, people reading Death of Strange will move over to Strange, Clea Strange, uh, I don't think there's a need for this. I don't know the reason for this. Um, Cody Ziegler, not a fan. He's doing Spider-Punk. He's always wanted to do Spider-Punk. He's like, super mega fan of Spider-Punk. Great for him. Uh, this may end up being a series even I don't sub to. Just like I don't sub to Savage Spider-Man, and I love Joe Kelly, may not sub to this. Now, Oliver Koipel is doing the main cover. That's good, and I think that may sell the series, but this this Spider-Verse variant, I am indifferent about. It's not something... I'll mean, I'll, I'll ask everyone, do you want to sub to this? But... Uh, I am indifferent to it myself, so, uh, but, but maybe I'm in the wrong here. I mean, uh, this is if this is the Koibo cover. It looks like it. It's actually really cut. It's a really cool cover. Uh, ben Riley Spider Man, also a series that uh, blew up. Had to reorder. Silk for this particular this Lee cover. Jiang Lee. Well, the, the Inyuk Lee cover is fine, but this Jiang Lee cover. Wow. I don't know who this character is, and if this is a variant of Sylph, fantastic, but this cover is amazing. Uh, again, Sash Spider-Man, like I said, I was indifferent to it, so I'm not I'm I I've no point. But I it actually a lot of people accept to it. So uh more people than I expected to. At first there was no one, and then a lot just at FOC a lot of people increased, so that's great. So Savage Spider-Man 3. Uh Miles, this is a very interesting cover. Uh, because it ends the, 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 his and shifts run with the Beyond Corp. And, um, you can see that the costume continues without the hoodie. I really enjoy that. I really think that's pretty cool. Um, there, there's something happening here. There's something happened. Ask Ultimatum. I'm really hopeful that the, uh, 1610 universe comes back one day. Uh, Venom Seven. I don't. I don't know why they couldn't have inked this cover. All right. It is inked. I don't get this Brian Hitch cover. It, it needs colors for me to understand it. Um. Yeah, it's it's doing super well. I underordered Venom, and I thought I, like I didn't un, I didn't order like just pulls. I ordered like fifty copies. I just underordered it. Um, as you can tell, uh, the people here at Marvel goofed with the Marauders logo, as you can tell. 
this was superimposed and then they uh, screenshot it. So as you can tell, the Marauders logo is <laughs> Lion's error is a mistake. So Marauders too, yeah. Uh, extinction agenda. There's something in particular. Oh yes, I remember now. Um, so again, I don't enjoy Steve Orlando. I think he's a terrible writer. Uh, he's going to space. Shiar Majestrix has raised the Imperial Armada to stop the Marauders in their tracks. Just because of that line, very frustrating. Because I love this just Shiar. We'll see. I'll, I I think I've ordered like an extra of the Marauders one. We'll read it. We'll see what happens. Um. So, oh yeah, there's lots of Spider-Man variants for the 60th anniversary. This is my favorite one that we've shown is the Care Andrews cover. And it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's, uh, oh yeah, it's Emma Frost as a spider character. Yes. So, it's Mortal, Immortal X-Men. Uh, it's a Mark Brooks cover. So, then this is the not all variant, but yeah, I'm Mark Brooks cover all day, all time. Uh, I will order extras just because Mark Brooks. Uh, patch, pretty cool. Uh, this this may be something. Uh, there is something. Uh, da, 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 but who is Krennis Beth, and who does she figure in the plans of General Koi? Um, maybe uh, Wolverine Patch Number One has a first appearance of a new villain, and this this is her first cover. So because of this, because of this information, I may I I believe I still have some time to increase my order of Patch Number One. Uh, it might be something to it. Very interesting. So back to the remarks of Judgment Day is coming. So this is X Men number ten, Death Strikes swiftly. So clearly Lady Death Strike. Uh, if someone tells me this is not Lady Death Strike, I'm I'm very confused. Uh, but it's a cool cover. Uh, X Force continues. Hey, at least one X series continues where it's numbering. Uh, X Force twenty seven. Enter Cerebrax. That's that's kind of corny if you ask me. It's a lot of variants. Um, this book has been delayed for super long. I think New Mutants 25 has been like in three different previews now. Vitale, uh, yeah, using code. So, yeah. Um, if I'm mistaken, like, this is a 1 in 100 or something. Or the Virgin is 1 in 100, the regular is 1 in 50. Um... Also, this could be very interesting. I don't think there will be anything coming out of Supertooth, uh, but a lot of people have pulled for it. Uh, very confused to why Excellent is with uh, uh, Strange. I'm uh, thinking on Doctor Strange. It's very confusing uh, when Strange is dead. It's, well, like the Nightmare one is a one shot. It could be the past thing. It's fine. But this is like I'm going to continue with the Excellent group. So, I don't know. Moving on. Hey, Jillian's going to be reading Wolverine because Deadpool's in it. Yeah, Deadpool is in this. <laughs> Look at this Kurt Commissioner. It is fantastic. Uh, and he's taking a selfie. It is great. I, I love Deadpool. Um, so we had Cable Deadpool and Deadpool and Cable. And now we got Wolverine and Cable. It's so Deadpool. So I'm, I, I'm really excited about reading this. Um. I don't know if this is going to how it's going to continue as an ongoing, uh, as the ongoing, but it's probably just an arc. And so, as the Deadpool collector, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and if you're yourself a Deadpool like aficionado, this is definitely a great time to pick it up. So more about the Avengers. So this one is particularly interesting because uh, Nightwing, uh, no Nighthawk, sorry, is in this. Um, and there's like all these Hydra-ish characters. It's it's interesting. I don't know where this is going. I mean, yes, it has something to do with Heroes Reborn. And and he also said he was going to destroy their current universe because he wants to return to his old universe. He wants to bring it back. So it's very confusing what this is going. But I've been enjoying uh, Aaron's Avengers. The first two arcs not great and then moving on it gets a lot better um yeah it, it really picks up starting arc three uh, avengers forever though because it feels like you're already in the story uh it it's just been doing great and uh also i ordered like 25 copies of avengers Forever number one it was not enough uh yeah we're in second print right 
Uh, Iron Fist. Um, I've ordered a lot of number one. Um, it seems like the story splits off. I don't know. We'll see for uh, number three. Uh, Jack of Hearts is back, but we also seen Jack of Hearts in She-Hulk. Oh, spoiler. Sorry. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to make of this. I haven't read number one. I, it's also it's after is the second book I need to read. Uh, cool cover for Ghost Rider. Um, there was something here that pulled me, including a things roll with burn rubber and swirl kill. So this is a new villain appearance, number three. But typically the number threes, right? Uh, Moon Knight three, Hulk three, um, uh, not Thor three. Thor was five. So Ghost Rider three is probably an ish is a um, worthwhile to issue to spec up. Uh, Eternals, just because it's the Judgment is Coming thing. Um, we'll see. I have no opinion, really. Um, Reckoning War. I have yet to read the first issue of Reckoning War. So, uh, TBD to see if it's any good. But it's Dan Slot, so we'll see. She-Hulk did great. Uh, very much impressed with the return of these, uh, the rectangles, the marble rectangles. Uh, I really appreciate that uh, Jen is doing that. Uh, the concept is what was... Pretty fun. Uh, highly recommend She-Hulk. Uh, World War M3. Sure. Uh, Black Panther. Which one? This is 5. So, uh... I honestly believe the 4 is probably going to be more key. I don't think 3 is key. Um, I think 4 is. I say that because, um... 3 is the 200th issue, and it's, like, too obvious... And they're going to, they feel they're going to sell to a, a lot of copies for 200 for the shoe. So making key number four key, it allows them to reprint one through four at the same time. Uh, Shang Chi. Eh, no, no, I'm indifferent to the character. Also, a character I enjoy reading in a team, not a solo. Uh, the Marvels. Everyone who tells me they read the Marvels is saying, if you like classic Avengers, you should be reading the Marvels. And so that's what I'll tell you. If you like classic Avengers, you should be reading the Marvels. Uh, Moon Knight 10. Every time I pick up a Moon Knight issue, actually every month, the Moon Knight comes out is the first book I read, and I'm always happy. Fantastic book. Uh, Beyond Limit finally ended. After a reboot, well, in the sense uh, the resolicitation. Uh, same thing for the thing, uh, finally ending. Uh, ongoing Iron Man. I feel like this is secretly going to be the last issue of the run. Uh, the last ongoing of Iron Man also ended with 19 until we hit um, uh, Iron Man 2020. Wow, that was, <laughs> it was two years ago already. Um, so I this could be uh, uh, secretly the last issue of the run. I don't... The, the thing's confirmed that this is, but I have a feeling. Confirming, though, that Strange Academy 618 is the last issue of the Volume 1. Because we're getting a Volume 2. This is confirmed. So uh, uh, there's something they're saying is key. It's entirely possible. I, I think it's just they're trying to sell the last issue. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Aliens 11. Uh, Aliens doing great. We'll see how Predator does eventually. Uh, King Conan. More people than expected. Uh, a lot of people asked me to increase their orders. Uh, so, yeah, King Conan. Uh, Halcyon Legacy. Uh, this, uh, this one is with Lando and... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Hondo. Lando and Hondo. Indifferent. Uh, this is a great cover. Um, the last time we saw uh, Alien Zara, I wrote a lot. Didn't go nowhere. I'm not going to do anything for Star Wars 23 either. Uh, but it's a great cover. Han Solo Chewbacca was also another series I'm completely indifferent of. Uh, it's entirely possible that uh, they'll introduce new back characters. I don't... It's It's possible. Han breaks into his target safe, but he won't believe what's inside. Just like this, because of this, eh, 
frustrates me. Also, why is this for why is this a forty pager? Why does this need to be a forty pager for number two? Very confusing. Uh, Afra has also been picking up, doing great. Maybe because of Lisa Wong. Uh, Star's bounty hunters, Valance, sure. Uh, this is honestly a great cover for Darth Vader. Most of the covers are great, but this one pretty is really fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, Target the Crimson Dawn, the Empire himself. Shock and reveal that cuts every core Dark uh, Dark Lord's Dark Heart. Um, so it's stuff like this that makes me want to order more. Um, but even though, I'm curious to see if they're incentive covers. Uh, Trade of Dawn variant cover. It doesn't feel like there's an incentive cover for this. Um, we'll see. Uh, Crimson Rain also had to increase significantly. A lot of people came out of the woodworks. Crimson Rain. Uh, so that's the single issues going to the trades. Uh, I've already gone for the trades. It is a depressing month, folks. Depressing. So we're going to skim through this real fast after we go for the Stormbreakers. Uh, FCBD, three different books. Uh, gallery edition of the wedding album. Gallery editions are trash. Don't buy galleries. They're oversized and terrible. Uh, Black Panther Omnibus for Christopher Priest. This is cool. If you're a Black Panther fan, you should get this. Uh, Immortal Iron Fist that has the last two runs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or actually a lot more. Ow, oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Immortal Iron Fist, one for 27. The Annual. Um, Mortal Weapons. Mortal Civil War Choosing Sides. I'm an Avenger. There's a lot of stuff here. There's more than I expect. I, I thought it was much smaller than that. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't... It's, it's a book we'll get a couple of copies of, for sure. Uh, this was solicited last month, got cancelled, resolicited. It's just the same X-Lives, X-Deaths. Um, Mortal Hulk. So, uh, this is the final issue, the final trade, the hardcover edition. I'm hoping that uh, by the end of the year, they'll announce the Omnibus for it. Mortal Masterworks, different. Uh, what is this? First volume of Black Panther. I uh, don't think I'll be getting, honest, honestly, any for the store. Uh, Captain America Iron Man. Uh, does well-ish. I've only read issue one. Uh, issue two, t also, it's on my stack of... Like, it keeps going down my stack. It's not that it's bad. It's just, like, number one didn't really surprise me. Didn't impress me. So I'm not really in a fa rush to getting the, the single trades. Uh, Hulk by Donny Cates. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Venom was Venom, so it was worthwhile getting this, the trades. But Hulk may not be. May not be. Oversized hardcovers. Great to pick up, though. Avengers by Jason Aaron on sale. Oh, it's the Avengers Forever. Okay. One through five is the first arc. All right. Uh, probably not. Not worth it. Uh, Devil's Rain Trapper back will be worth it. Uh, the reason for that is that Marvel events typically do really well. So uh, I fully expect, uh, you know, in the future, uh, we'll be able to do some. Uh, be able to flip that trade for years and years as well because to tell us like this is like if you enjoyed civil war you should read devil's reign because it is way better than civil war 2 way better uh i would buy an oversized hardcover of this for myself uh so because it was the the event all the event tie-ins get their separate trades um Superior four will the Spider Man to make it four issues. Uh, this one has Villains for Heart and the Moon Knight to make it four issues. Um, these are okay. Like, I would get these in Omnibus to be honest. Uh, and then the Winter Soldier. So I, I I find it pretty intriguing that they figure out they need one extra one shot for for all the three ofs the three issues arcs. Just so they can put them into the trades really easily. Um, I don't know if 
The Spider-Man with... Sp oh, I guess so. Okay. Alright, Moon Knight makes sense. Winter s I, I guess. There's like force making sense. Uh, Woman out of fear. Uh, they're, yeah, they're including the Electra 100 in this. It's... It's kind of absurd, to be honest. It's like they had to find it. Like that's probably why they made the Electra One Hundred, <laughs> so they could put it with the trade, and uh, not feel like they're robbing us. Um, this is a great series. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, Batman Beyond. Uh, the yes, I'll pick up extras. Uh, Last Annihilation. Just specifically the Last Annihilation instead of being uh, with. Um, the rest of Guardians of the Galaxy as a separate, like as an event book, I will be picking this up. Uh, Reign of X, always get extras. I get one of extra of each one. Is this gallery? No, regular trade. Uh, probably get one because it's not gallery. Probably okay for one for a store. No Iron Man's. Uh, first Reckoning War. I don't know, probably not. No to Miss Marvel. Ghost Rider, okay, this is a complete collection. The Return of Blaze. Spirit of Ghost Rider, Mother Demons, King and Black Ghost Rider, Ghost, okay, so this is like the last, the Buisson run, right? But it's only, hmm. So it's, oh, it's all the like one shots of, of Ghost Rider to be able, no, I don't know. It's random one shots. Marvel Voices, Nord, uh, Valkyrie, Jane Foster. So last month we had the uh, the uh, Jane Foster store. Now it's a trade for Jane Foster's Valkyrie. Sure, why not? Uh, Black Widow, Volume 3. Uh, trades we need to stock always are Star Wars Criminal Rain for Volume 4. And that's it. So they're telling us, hey, there's like a bunch of... Uh, strange books you need to, to bring in for the movie. I'm like, yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, new Epic Collections. Um, Generation X, Volume 2. Invincible Iron Man, Volume 5. New Mutants. The Life Fell cover. Yeah. Uh, new Mutants 8. Uh, more Clone Wars. That's pretty cool. Uh, volume four, Clone Wars. Uh, new printing. This is uh, people ask me regularly for great power, so I'm happy about this new printing. Uh, this one, Medrapore Knights. I actually think I still have one copy in stock, so maybe I should check to see how much it goes for on eBay. Uh, yeah, Medrapore Knights. Super happy about this. This is like the only trade that I'm super happy about. And notice there's like no omnibuses this month, right? There was like one, uh, you know, the Iron Fist and the uh, Black Panther. Uh, so complete collection, volume five of Jonathan Eggman's Avengers. So one, two, three, four. I was waiting for five. Super excited to finish this run with uh, in June. And then finally read Secret, uh, uh, Secret Wars, 2015 Secret Wars. And then they're telling us about uh, Strange Academies. Here's their like two graphic novels. Here's a third graphic novel. Uh, Marvel Mighty Marvel Masterworks is Captain America, the first one. So it's the Tales of Suspense, which is pretty cool. Uh, Miles Morales graphic novels. Sure. And that's it. It's a really depressing month for traits. There's really nothing special. Like, Devil's Reign is cool, and I'm, again, like I said, like, this is the top book that I can't wait to, wait to read. Uh, this is great to restock. Uh, I, I need the Clone Wars for my collection. Uh, and then I, I've got the New Mutants guy who will love this. The, the Iron, Iron Man will love this. The uh, Generation... I, there's, like, one guy in Generation X, if I'm not mistaken. There's nothing much, really, in trades. So, um... Let's talk about what we're excited for. Uh, we're excited for that uh, that cap. We're not excited for for Spider Man. It's sad, but we're not. Uh, but we are excited for um, the new Reign of X books. Sorry, it's not Reign of X. It's Destiny of X. So not for this. Uh, excited for 
uh, captains. Captain looks fantastic. Super excited for Captain America. Has a great read. Um, uh, Thor vs. Hulk looks great too. Super excited for that. Um, da, 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 Hulk 6, sure. S -s -Hulk. Uh, Thor 750, sure. Uh, Daredevil 1, super excited for a return. Not excited for Electro 100. Uh, excited for X-Men Red. And... Um, Legion X is cool. Knights of X is cool. We can get new readers for those. I don't think there's like long-term potential for either one of those. Uh, I don't. It's not a series that people look for back issues. That's what I'm saying. X Men ninety two is. I, I don't get it. Grand design, sure. Black, white, and blood, sure. Um, yeah. There's. It's not a super exciting previews. Uh, all in all. Like, yes, they'll push Amazing Spider-Man 1, Volume 5 or 6. I forget which volume we're at. Um, honestly, the, the pretty, probably the biggest, coolest point is the Captain America split off as two, two different Captain Americas. Uh, yeah, it's all uh, Marvel again, super long previews versus the D DC Lunar. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the DC Connect. Um, there's, there's stuff here. Um, there's, I don't think there's much to speculate on, but I did mention earlier the books they said to speculate on, uh, if you are looking to speculate on them. Uh, that's it. Um, if there is a book that you feel that I should have been more hyped on, please let me know down below in the comments. Please share this video to other retailers, other friends, or look to see what you think should be read or what I should speculate on from a retailer's perspective. Otherwise, we'll see each other next month for more uh, new previews and connects um otherwise we'll talk with each other later this month for top 10 books top 10 books to subscribe to uh for the month of february releasing in april of 2022 thank you so much and as always keep reading